Hello there. I proudly welcome you to this quick tech tutorial brought to you by Datatex. My name is Sako Smila. In this video, I'm going to share with you how to run an append query in your assets database to get records in a worksheet imported and added up automatically to an assets database table. If you have not subscribed to the channel, kindly hit the subscribe button, turn on the little bell notification icon so that you stay with us as we all learn together. So now, in Microsoft Access, we have four types of query, the run query, the update query, delete query, and then also the append query. What in today's video, we are going to talk about the append query. So what append query does is that it helps you to mm -hmm. one, either have records in, uh, in a table, transport or transfer records across tables from one table to another table. Or also, if you have a records in a worksheet or a Google form, you can just export it to an Excel worksheet. And then in there, you can easily use the append query to migrate the records that I have in here into your asset database uh, table. So in this video, we are going to use this one as an example. For instance, you can see that in this particular uh, sheet, I have um, the names of students, first name, middle name, and then the last name here in the telephone, some couple of telephone numbers and their birthday. So we are going to use an append query to transfer all these records into our access uh, in our access database into the students info table so that automatically they show in the form. So you can see now we don't have any record. So how do we do that? To run an append query, you go to your ribbon, external data, you click Excel. Now here, before then, you make sure that you close the worksheet in which you are importing the data from. So I will close it here. Now we continue the process. We go to browse. Before then, you always have to make sure that the first option is uh, turned on. The first record, the first option is turned on. You can use this second option to automatically do everything straightforward, but then um, we are now moving, uh, we, we don't just want to jump into um, the intermediate level. We are just starting with the basic process. So we click browse. Then we, we go to I uh, have the sheets in the documents, student list, open, I'll click in here. Okay, so now um, I have here, you see all the worksheets. I want to import the transfer the data from the crash worksheet. So I'll go to next. Yes, my first row contain headings. I'll proceed. So here we check in here with the field options, field name, index number, shortlisted. Do not import field scapes. We go to next. Let us just add a primary key. Yes, always is very advisable to turn that on. Now I will say crash is okay. So I'll click finish. All right now our worksheet has been imported into access as a table so once i click here you'll see so there's a couple of stuff that i would like us to get rid of we don't need all uh, i don't need all these columns because i just want to import first name middle name last name telephone numbers and all that okay so now you go to your student info and you make sure that you have the corresponding columns all created we don't have birthday and religion so I will click here, short test religion, and here date or time, that is birth date. Okay, so now we can now exit all the tables that we have in here since we have equal equivalent columns. Now we go to create your query design. So first you begin by clicking the you double click the crash table to highlight it or bring it into the design grid. So now we are going to import a, we are going to append first name, middle name, last name. So we double click to add everything to the grid. Telephone one, telephone two, BFD. Then we have the religion here. Okay. So now you go to, now that we have this one, on, so in this contextual menu design, you click append. Now append, so we are appending it to student info, current database. Okay, so now first name, now it means that the telephone two from the crash table will be imported to the telephone two in the student info table. How about birthday? Birthday will be imported to birthday. Now the middle name will be imported to middle name. Last name will be imported to last name. 
this these ones were not automatically matched because uh, you could see the names were the names are different. The first name also the first name. Okay, so now we've been able to match all the corresponding uh, fields. So it means that as soon as we run this query, all the first name, middle name, last name, and telephone number, and all that will be transferred into the student info table, which was then blank. So control S to save. I'll call it append students okay so now we are done the very last thing is you take a very deep breath then you click run so you click run you are about to append 21 records rows uh, rows are the same as records so you click yes okay now successful we are done should you run it again it means they're going to have extra 21 records added up making 42 so now we are done at this time if you go to your student info now who oh, congratulations you can see now we have all the records here so we have all the records they've been we've been able to import a record so if you view your student info now you can see that we have all the records neatly imported in here so here we are okay so you can move here to add some couple of fields to it so the religion you can add the religion and you can add the birthday so let me scroll let me is giving more space in here so now i'll select everything and i'll size i'll go to tallest so okay so okay so now let me select it size we go to widest in fact the, all these ones are not part of the tutorial i'm just trying to make sure that all the fields have been added to uh our form okay so now let's okay so now we are done and we can save it so we have everything neatly showing here we have everything neatly showing and once you go in here we also have it over here so guys that is uh that is a very brief showcase about uh uh how to append records in or transfer records in your excel sheet uh, onto uh, a data table in Microsoft Access. So we'll be ending here. In subsequent videos, we'll be exploring other types of queries which are very useful. Thank you very much for watching this video. Can you do what to share and subscribe if you have not so that we stand to benefit uh, from all these tech videos. Enjoy the other videos. Bye.